everyone, Kyle's here, and today I'm going to talk about some big community opportunities that are coming up for Studio Reverie. So if you've ever been interested in being a mod, supporting the artwork on Reverie, or helping out with any edits, this is the video for you. Unfortunately, we're not looking for any voice actors at the moment, but just give us a few more months and we'll probably be looking again. So uh, keep your ears out for that. But today we're looking for three types of people in particular. We're looking for new mods for our Discord and our YouTube channel. We're looking for artists or any creative we can find to work on any creative content uh, for Reverie. This could be music, artwork, this could be animations, anything you can think of that could work. We're willing to work with you uh, and we'll go through that as well. And lastly, we're also looking for editors. So after we got demonetized the other day, we are now re-monetized, which is lovely. But it has been requested by YouTube that in order for us to not get hit again or ever or have anybody report our studio for re-uploading pre-recorded content or pre-made content on another channel, we need to really rehaul and overchange a lot of our videos. So that's why I'm opening up uh, re-edits of chapters one all the way to chapter 39. I might open it up to 40 to 42, but I might take that myself because it's a little special to me. We'll talk about that in a second. First up, let's talk about mod applications. So the first Google form we have is a mod application. You'll fill that out. We have several questions for you. If we think that you're a good fit for Reverie or if we wanna to talk to you, we'll set up a Discord call and we will we'll talk to you. We'll see what your availability is like. If you're willing to work with us on Discord and YouTube, one or the other, whatever you feel, you do not have to be a mod that's on 24 seven. It could be more casual. It's just having an extra set of eyes at different times of day, just to make sure everything's safe here on Studio Reverie and abides by rules. Of course, we have disclaimers. There is no personal ill will if we don't choose you to be a mod. There could be a number of reasons why we can't. If we have too many applications, we'll have to not accept everyone because that's a lot of people to keep track of. Uh, there is a section to see if you have been uh, banned or blocked at all from any of our affiliate accounts or any of our uh, friends or other uh, content creators accounts. So if you've ever been banned from Studio Reverie, Holographic, Witch Cult Translations or the ReZero Discord, we just need you to explain why, what happened and uh, how it was resolved. This does not change uh, at all if you can apply or not, if you're gonna be picked or not. If you've learned your lesson, if you changed your ways, if something just happened, it's good to know in advance and we can work with you still. If you do break any guidelines, of course, we will have to remove you from mods. And if you break any severe rules, we will have to remove you from the server. But for the most part, we trust you all and we would love to hear from you. So if you'd like to mod with us, please fill out that form and you'll hear from me and maybe a few others from Reverie as well as we get to know you. You are welcome to respond to everything with a video if that's preferred for you or audio, that's totally fine. Just uh, let us know in that. And you also don't need to record anything at all. You can just answer the stuff. This is just to give more accessibility for everyone. Next up, we have creators. So any creator who wants to submit their work, anything they've done for ReZero Arc 5 or really any of the arcs of ReZero, now that we're starting from Arc 1, uh, we are open to take any fan art, any music compositions, uh, any animations that you've made along the way, along the years, uh, as long as you're willing to share that with us. Uh, so we have a form for that for you to fill out for all of our artists and creatives. Uh, if you have any fun ideas, stuff that wasn't mentioned on the Google form, stuff you'd really like to work on with us, please feel free to also use that form as uh, a way to contact us about that. You're always welcome to contact me, myself, Kyle's, uh, on the Studio Reverie Discord server. There is a form set up for uh, all three groups, but the artist one, you can specifically call me out there to be like, hey, Kyles, I wanna talk to you. Can you please talk to me in DMs? And uh, we'll, we'll work on uh, something like that. Please do not abuse this power. <laughs> if you do not have something that you want to share with Reverie, and you just wanna say hi, please don't abuse that. <laughs> please, please give us a reason to uh, DM. Uh, this literally, it could be anything you want to share. We have had some amazing uh, musicians, some amazing artists, some amazing animators. This dancers even, uh, if you're a singer, you know, you wanna work on covers with us, if you do mixes, that sort of thing, we're willing to work with you. Cause we do wanna make this really big and make this a big community event. And we'd love to showcase your work. So please leave your credits with us in the Google form. 
Uh, as well as please leave your favorite social media on the top or at least highlight which one you'd like uh, said the most because sometimes in our YouTube descriptions we can't fit more than one uh, social media platform. So try to use one or maybe a link tree or something like that. And we'd love to work with you so please feel free to uh, apply and this will be open uh, for the rest of our time here, you can send in art at any point. It could be old artwork, it could be made just specifically because of this. It could be anything you'd like. As long as it's your own work, it has to be your own work. It could be fan art of the show, it could be fan covers, that sort of thing. But it cannot be anyone else's but your own. This is just to make sure that uh, people have their uh, artistic integrity intact and, and everything. We don't um, hurt anyone's feelings. If you do want to be used for thumbnail art and you do want to specifically do thumbnail art as well, you can let me know. I'll talk to you about that. I've used quite a few uh, people's artworks. Uh, there are some I've gotten from Pixiv and, uh, oh gosh, what was the other site I used? Oh my gosh, uh, Pinterest with no artist name, even with reverse image search. I've been searching for these artists for a very long time and I can't find them. So I do really want to replace those thumbnails as well. <laughs> Last and certainly not least, we're looking for editors. Yes, we do have a group of editors already in Reverie, but there's a lot of stuff to do and these are old chapters. So like I said before, we're going to be completely redoing chapters one to 39, and I might open up 40 to 42, as they were originally uploaded to a Holographics channel. So this opens a big alleyway uh, for being either mass reported uh, by people saying that our content is not original, it's been uploaded once before, or uh, just YouTube bots flagging it as well. Now YouTube said they will not shut down the channel, it's okay, but they said if we want to protect ourselves we should re-edit our content to make it different from the original one. This is why we're opening up the doors for everyone else. So if you've ever wanted to take a stab at editing, you could be a seasoned editor, you could have never touched editing in your life, now is the perfect time. I will work with you one-on-one. -on -one. You just have to fill out the application form. Let us know your experience so I know how much time I need to invest with working with you. Um, after you're done editing a chapter and you only get one chapter at a time to avoid burnout or any issues, uh, once you finish one chapter, uh, you'll review it with me. We'll make any corrections that we need to make, any revisions. This could be a week-long process. It could be a day. It really depends on uh, what happens. But I do have a tutorial video that will be supplied in the Google form for the editors to follow if you want to do the visual novel format. Uh, for the edits for chapters 1 to 39 of arc 5. But if you, uh, if you do have some ideas and it's not the visual novel format, please run it by me first before you do it. There's a lot of weird rules on YouTube with copyright and copy infringement. Uh, all, that, all that good stuff. I know the rules inside and out and I'll help you avoid that. We do have some files from Lost in Memories coming out. I'm testing out this VTuber model of Amelia right now to see if it gets hit. If it doesn't, we are welcome to use it for the visual novel format. If it does, we will have to avoid it. So this is the first test. Uh, but otherwise we have our PNGs that we can use. I'll probably make another longer video for the editors later on just to make uh, all the questions that we have pop up a little more concise. So this is my little TLDR for you. All right, if you got to the end of this video, hopefully I have tagged some timestamps for you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we'll try to have some more voice acting opportunities very, very soon. Uh, we're gonna be, be blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we're live every Saturday now uh, around 1 p.m. EST. If you join the Discord server, the time zone will reflect uh, in your time zone itself. And we're gonna be reading arc one all the way to arc four uh, until we catch up to arc five. And we're gonna still keep editing Arc 5 as well on the side. This just gives us a bit more time. So it's so good to have you all back. It's so good to be back. And thank you all so much for your time today. Uh, please feel free to apply at any time. The editors and the uh, creative applications will be unlimited open availability. You can submit at any point in time. The moderators, we may close off at some point, but for now, they're gonna be wide open. All right, friends, we'll see you on Saturday. Goodbye. What?